going full screen with these. Now, no, there is no music. Mainly because of copyright purposes. Holy fucking shit, I was about to say it's dark as fuck in here. I totally forgot the announcer was on. Seven! I forgot the announcer was on. <laughs> It's not WWE Universe! It's PXT! I forgot to turn off the announcers. I need, I need to do that. Can we do that before I start this? You know what? A uh, very high pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. We'll, we'll let this round in, and then I'll go to the settings and fix that. Also, pay no mind to his trunks and why it says G7 backwards. For some reason, when I do Embross on the actual, like, gear, it does that whenever it's on their asses. I don't know why. It looks so weird without music. Here he is, Adonis. They don't have that name in here either, so they look a little stupid. Donis! A Donis! That was named Adonis. He's one of the hardest strikers in the entire world. That's right, I will be doing commentary. The all simpletons that's on the so called commentary team. I forgot to mute that. I should have really muted that. A man who elevates his game every week. He is competing at his highest level yet. I don't. I'm Corey, what the fuck are you talking about? This is our debut show. Highest level yet, bitch! This is new! <laughs> Alright, so we got the first round with G7, and... I wonder if I can do it in the settings here. Well, I'll check it in a second. I'll check it in a second. I highly doubt it, but it'd be pretty cool. Okay. It's PXT! <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gents. Nothing ever happened, but let's see what happened. God dang it, it didn't save the fucking... We're gonna be watching this shit like it's live television. There we go. There we go. The first round, G7. Oh, Adonis was about to do shit, but G7... Oh. Oh, G7 getting Adonis. Dropping him down on the top rope. G7 taking advantage of the entire match. But Adonis not gonna allow it. Adonis going for sign. Oh, a jumping knee to the face. So just to point out everyone that Adonis is one of, if not the strongest strikers in the entire game. That's right. He can literally knock anyone's head off with the key on. Oh, looks like he's talking trash to G7. G7 rolling out. Oh, what? Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, Adonis over the top. <laughs> Okay, I didn't know he could do over the top rope shit. <laughs> I did not go in detail with their uh, move sets. Oh, oh, oh! Jumping neck breaker from G7, but they're both on the outside. They need to get back in the ring to finish this tournament. They can't do it on the outside. The fuck they think they're doing? Donna's coming back in. G7 just stalling him out. Oh, there it is. Throwing Donna to the corner. G7 with a big clothesline. Oh, G7 going for the pin! One! No, nothing. No big... No fucking... It's not even a one. Oh! Seven to take advantage. Adonis coming back at it. G7 throwing Adonis to the ropes now. Oh, going under. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> almost hit the ref! Adonis almost got a disqualification, dude. Oh! Oh! Big DDT from Adonis! Oh! G7! No selling that shit! Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Adonis. Ooh, good fake out. Adonis has been in the game for over... Oh, God. I don't even know how long, but... Oh, there, okay, there's another fake out. 
Oh, ooh, looks like he's going to try working on the leg of G7. Going to try wearing him down. Or try to wear down the leg. Oh, ooh. Now talking to the other knee. Well, not, I guess, leg in general. Talking to the other leg now. Oh, Adonis. Lifting up G7. Oh, but G7 gets out of it. Always going to go for a neck breaker, but Adonis says no. Now has full control. Has G7 into the corner. <laughs> Putting a lot of pressure at the bottom turnbuckle. Holy shit. Adonis taking control of this. Ooh. Draping the head with his boot. Ooh, Adonis with a series of strikes. Ooh. Big super kick to the gut. Oh, oh, oh. Hands on to the face. Here it is. One, two. G7 says no. Oh, and G7 rolls out. That was the key end zone. Oh, another over the top! <laughs> Adonis bringing everything to the table! Why did it Oh, G7! No! Oh, oh, okay. Well, Adonis just quickly shut down that whole comeback from G7. G7 is now. Oh! Getting taken out here! Adonis needs to get him back in the ring, though, if he wants to move forward in this tournament. Because I, I honestly, I don't know what we're going to do if it's a draw. <laughs> We, we probably have to restart the match, I'm not going to lie. Uh oh, Adonis going top, and oh! Goes for an elbow, but G7 kicks out. Oh, oh! Good, you're an by G7, and now G7 just with haymakers to Adonis' face. Uh-oh, G7 looking, ooh, now dishing out punishment of his own to Adonis. Again, more haymakers. Why do I try to damage the head? I think G7 is wanting to connect with King's Fall. Yes. Oh! Oh! The jumping DDT! Is that enough? One! Two! No! Adonis still at it. Oh, but what's G7? Is G7 gonna go for the King's Fall? Oh! It looks like he is! Oh! Adonis with the reversal! Adonis reverses King's Fall! Oh! That was the inverted Adonis drop! Oh, I, I, I looked, I was stunned for a second. I was like, shit, what would I call that move before? Oh, oh, here it is! The real Adonis drop! That's it! It's over! One, two, Adonis moves forward to the semi-final, semi-finals, <laughs> quarterfinals, I don't know what to call it, but Adonis takes the easy victory. I forgot, that move was called Mach 2, that's where I was, that's why I dozed off, I was like, what did they call that move before? <laughs> he hits the Mach 2, but he ends it with the Adonis drop, Adonis moving forward to the next round. Now the question is, who's he going to fight?